We recently went cold weather camping over the Thanksgiving weekend near Mount Shasta in Northern California. Normally we would use a rooftop tent, but a few nights were too cold, wet, and late to set up camp. We did this for two nights. The first night got into the low 30s, and the next night got into the teens. Because inside the ravine was so spacious, we were able to reorganize everything and set up our sleeping area without leaving the car or putting any of our camping gear outside. The first night, we naturally thought that we should set the temperature to the lowest warm setting at about 69 degrees to sleep comfortably. But as it turns out, it got too warm and we had to lower the temperature during the night. The next night, it was considerably colder outside. It actually went down to 16 degrees at one point during the night. However, this time we set the climate to cooler temperatures between 65 and 67 degrees. And this was a much more comfortable temperature to sleep in, even though it still got slightly warm at some point during the night. The first night when the temperature fell to the low 30s, we lost about 10% of battery range. The next night we lost almost 15% of battery because it was so much colder. Both nights the system ran continuously for 9 hours. Here are a few of the things we learned. First, it was best to keep the temperature cooler and use sleeping bags and blankets to save more on range. The next thing is that the Rivian kept the fan blowing at a low speed in order to prevent the windows from fogging up and to keep the temperature consistent with all the windows closed. Another cool thing was the small center screen. You could use it to adjust the temperature, the radio, outlets, etc. throughout the night if you needed to. You can also sleep with the ambient lighting on if you like the mood lighting. If you use the climate control at night while sleeping inside, it's best to have it in camp mode, have the energy management set to the on position, and have the climate control in the auto mode so the car can optimize the climate system for sleeping. Overall, sleeping in the car with the climate system running all night is a very effective and comfortable way to sleep at night. However, it is at the cost of significant range loss. During the nights when we did not use the climate control, we lost anywhere from 1-3% to of range depending on how cold the night was. Next time, what I would do different is to run the climate control a little cooler and bundle up a little more. Or maybe simply leave the climate control off and wear a lot more warm clothes and bigger blankets. But if you budget enough range for sleeping in the car, then it's a very effective and comfortable way to do so. And for the summertime, we shall have a video out that will see what the range loss would be when it's a lot warmer. And remember, if you want to see more video content like these and other tests, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.